Good morning, friends. This is Cheryl Land. Today's Tuesday, April 3rd, 30th. And this is the third <laughs> anniversary of my retirement. But today I wanted to, um, I wanted to do, it's probably going to be a two-part video on um, alternatives to using digitals in your journals. You know, you don't have to use digitals. I, I alternate between using digitals and then doing a couple journals with just none at all. I, I love digitals. I think some of them are gorgeous, but um, you don't have to use them. And I want to show you um, some journals that I've made. You don't have to make them like mine, but this is how I've done a few of mine without digitals. Now, this is my own personal journal. This is actually my second one. Um, there are no digitals in here. I've used scrapbook paper. <laughs> Photos of the grandkids. I've used uh, book pages. There's a leaf I'm pressing. I've used other book pages. Uh, this is uh, Birds and Blooms. More scrapbook paper. For this size, um, which this one is, let me check. Yeah, this one's 11 inches long. So um, I find that some magazines are just the perfect size. I, I do like to alter my paper sizes because I don't like everything the same. This, this I made a couple years ago. And um, this is really the junk journal style. You can see I've got, here's a recipe book, here's some accounting papers, here's uh, more scrapbook paper. This is composition book paper, which is a, it's a good size, it's, it's um, bigger than usual, but in this size book it fits. Um, here's a tea guide from Coffee Bean. Um, here are some brochures from our travels. Just kind of going through this quickly. Oh, maps. Maps are always good to use. They're a good size and you can always trim them down. Um, more Arizona Highways. I love that magazine. Um, let's see. More Arizona Highways. Here's some, this is some, um, lined legal size paper this particular journal has four signatures again more composition book paper so you get you get the idea there's just a big variation in here um this one i actually stapled the paper to the it was a brochure I mean, this just, just has a lot of everything in here. So you can see that one. And again, this is another one I did about a year ago. It has kind of a November, winter theme. There are no digitals in this one. Here I've used some sheet music. This is um, a photograph from a magazine. This one is a, is a calendar. See the back? And again, here's sheet music. I'll try to get out a little bit so I'm not cutting anything off. Uh, here's an envelope. This is scrapbook paper. Here's a pocket made out of scrapbook paper. Another image from a magazine. I used a lot of cards in this one. This is some 11 by 17 inch paper that I got from my local um, paper supply. Here's composition book paper. Again, these, you know, the composition books are, during the summer, they're 50 cents each or a dollar. Scrapbook paper. This is from, um, a, it's a pocket made out of scrapbook paper. But there are no, there are no digitals in this one. Here's an envelope. Another envelope, so you get the idea. Here's sheet music. I I do have a lot of sheet music, so um, 
There's scrapbook paper. So you get the idea. But no, there are no digitals. Again, okay, here's another one. I made this one about a year ago, and I had it in my shop. It never sold, and I, I redid the cover because none of this was on the cover. It was just the um, scrapbook paper and fabric. Sometimes I'll cover my um, signatures with fabric just to give it a little more cover, color, and um, <clears throat> I just decided I'm keeping this one. This one has too much... <laughs> It means too much to me. So again, here's scrapbook paper. I um, made some tags. This one has a lot of cards. I can't, can't see here. <laughs> it has a lot of cards. It has a lot of postcards. It's another thing. Postcards, brochures, maps. See, now if you have one of these extra large books, you have to kind of splice your... Um, scrapbook paper together. I even I even sprayed some leaves on paper. Oh, this is from a brochure that I got up in the Eastern Sierra. It was on the Eastern Sierra and I talked to a friend and she goes, you know, people don't know what that is. <laughs> I even used vellum. This is a vellum pocket. No, no digitals. This is a photograph from a brochure. This is one of my photographs. I even use my own photographs. <laughs> uh, a postcard. That's one of my photos. This is from a brochure. So when you're traveling, you know, keep keep those brochures. Uh, this is a um, a bag, and I made a little cardboard cardboard tag. So again, no, no digitals in this whatsoever. So you kind of get the idea. There's some music. I really had fun doing this one and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna keep it. Here's an envelope. Postcard. Uh, magazine pictures. <clears throat> so that's that's that one. I put um, a ribbon closure and, and a little camera charm. Here's another one I made um, last year. And again, um, no digitals. I did use a lot of scrapbook paper in this one. Um, oh, no, that's that's from a that's from a scrapbook pad. That's from a pad. Then I made a little tag out of a map. Again, all kinds of paper. I even made a little book. It has a little mini journal. Um, it has a bookmark. Different papers, but again, no digitals. Sometimes if you go to Walmart, there's a truck going down the street. Sometimes if you go to Walmart, they have paper pads for $5 each. I love using maps in my books. So again, no, no digitals. Yeah, so those were all from a year ago. <laughs> My style is completely different now. Now I sew fabric on the edges. This one I think has a few digitals. I I didn't get into digitals right away, you know. Here's see there's a there's a map. I uh I held back. This is a page from a calendar again. Let's see, you can use it. And this is an envelope that I sewed onto um, a piece of paper. And I put some fabric on it. I haven't attached it yet. This is my work in progress. This one has, uh, this one has all kinds of fabric on the bottom. 
I'm just trying to go through here. Here's another one with a card for a tuck. I have to attach that. Um, staff paper, music staff paper. I'm starting to use a lot more envelopes because I really love the envelopes. So again, um, I don't think this one has any digitals. I'm starting to kind of experiment with some light stamping on the papers. This is tea dyed paper. Oh yeah, see that's a digital. So it's got light digitals, but not, it's not like a couple of mine that I've made that were all digital. So again, you can see the stamping. This is um, composition book graph paper. Did you know composition books come in graph paper too? They do. So, um, I made a little tab there. So I just wanted to show you some ways that, um, you can use, you know, calendars, uh, magazine photos. You can use all different kinds and sizes of papers. You can use fabric. You can use cards. You can use envelopes. You can use maps. Um, gosh, I've used, I've made journals just using, you know, envelopes, just whatever I have. And I go through these phases where I'm like, I'm not going to buy anything, so I'm going to use what I have on hand. Um, so, you know, experiment, see what you like, um, see what you're comfortable with, and um, don't feel like you have to use digitals. I, I have so many now, I can't even, I, I really need to organize them so part two might be on how i use my digitals anyway um if you have any comments or questions please do leave them below and i'll get back to you if you wish to visit my etsy shop it is deserts and beyond all one word and i'll put a link to it in the description and in the comments so go out and have some fun you know, making journals is about having fun. And thanks for stopping by.